A very good evening to you and welcome to the programme with me, Riz Latif. She's called it an ambitious plan. The Prime Minister says she wants to tackle homelessness here in the capital. Today, Theresa May was in South London to promote a £20 million pledge aimed at preventing rough sleeping. The money will be shared by projects in 19 boroughs, but critics say much more is needed to help solve the ongoing housing crisis. Emilia Papadopoulos has the story. Recently, I was actually um, thinking about suicide, and it was the hardest thing in my life. No shot, no shot. Leighton began his career in the army and went on to become one of the country's top gastro chefs. But earlier this year, things changed, and he found himself living on the streets. After being refused help by three different councils, he approached the armed forces charity Safa, and they found him temporary accommodation at this hostel in East London. It was literally as if I'd actually won the lottery. I mean it seriously. It's not, it, it was then I realised I can actually start building my life again. The hardest step is the first step. Like Leighton, these former rough sleepers in Peckham have also taken that first step. They're being trained with new skills, which they got to show off to the Prime Minister today. During her visit, Theresa May also announced £20 million for projects to tackle homelessness in the capital. What I'm announcing today is the start of an ambitious programme which is actually putting prevention at the heart of tackling homelessness. I think this is important. We want to make sure that people don't become homeless in the first place. And here at Thames Reach, the work that they do is so important in helping people actually get skills, get a place in the, work, in the uh, workplace so they can move on. The money being pledged will be spent on dozens of different initiatives across London, including almost £400,000 for the Employment Academy in Southwark. They help people find work and put them in contact with employers. The North London Housing Partnership covers six boroughs. They'll get nearly £100,000 to pay for seven specialised staff to help those with addiction and unemployment issues. And the City of London, Tower Hamlets and Hackney will share £414,000 to develop their No First Night Out programme, aimed at stopping people rough sleeping in the first place. Well, while this money is welcome, many charities say the key to tackling homelessness long term is to make more social housing available, something that's very challenging here in London. And that's evident when you think that some homeless people, especially single men, can sometimes have to wait up to 20 years for a permanent home. If we want to tackle homelessness, we have to get people into genuinely affordable homes where they can have some stability. And social housing is one way to do that. And certainly London just does not have enough. But we can also make more use of the private rented sector. And again, rents in London are so unaffordable that people just can't afford the homes that are out there and available for them. Leighton has a long journey ahead, but getting off the streets has enabled him to start building his life again. It's hoped this funding will help those like him do the same. And Amelia's here. Um, in the run-up to Christmas, the Prime Minister isn't the only one talking about how to tackle homelessness. Yes, that's right. Yesterday, the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, visited a women's shelter in Marlebone, and he announced £50 million uh, that will go into building housing uh, to help tackle homelessness. And the idea is that this money is used to build around a thousand properties and get people, help to get people out of temporary accommodation and host, like hostels uh, or refuges and really break that cycle of homelessness because what it does, it gives them their independence back and it also means that they can start uh, having a long-term living arrangement, which a lot of charities say it uh, really does help uh, sort of tackle it in the long term so this money really uh, should make a significant difference charities are saying we need more housing in London uh, rents are too high it's very difficult for people to sort of fall back on their feet once they become hopeless uh, homeless sorry uh, so this is really about creating more housing and that ultimately is what, what's going to help solve London's housing uh, crisis and homelessness problem okay Amelia thanks very much for that